my daughter who, who moved out to Los Angeles from uh, from United Kingdom, and you know I I'm a father, and uh, she moved out here to, with a boyfriend um, to go on a career to try and make a career out here in, in fitness and. Uh, you know, like any father's uh, nightmare, you don't want to see your daughter leave the country. You want to make sure she's around you. Um, but uh, she made that decision and we backed it. Um, but six months later, I got a dreaded phone call uh, about two, two o'clock in the morning in the UK. And it was uh, from the hospital um, saying that my daughter had been involved in a very serious accident and I uh, had to get out there very, very quickly. Um, that was all the message I really got. Very little, very limited. Um, so as you can imagine, from a father's point of view, uh, I had 24 hours to get out here, and that was the worst 24 hours of my life. But when we got here, uh, and when we first saw Danielle, she was lying in the hospital, um, almost mummified, bandages from head to foot. You could hardly see her face. Uh, she couldn't speak. Horrified and terrified of what, what, what's gonna happen, and, and what was the outcome? What, what, what will happen to her? Uh, how is she gonna be? None of those questions could be answered immediately. Uh, it was going to be taken, it was going to be time. But one of the things that uh, the hospital advised us to do um, immediately uh, was to try and get the police report and, and then also to get advice from an attorney. I had no idea where to go. I, this is a blank page for me. I'm dealing, I'm dealing with Danielle, uh, my daughter, first and foremost. I'm in a strange country, don't know where to go. Uh, so our immediate thoughts was to, to get the police report, of which they were very, very uh, uh, good with us. Um, and in fact, the police officer who was actually on the scene um, spoke to us very clearly and said, look, this guy, you know, has been involved in an accident, your daughter, and, it, and it's, there's no way it was her fault. And it's 100% in, in favour of her, uh, and you needed to get an attorney immediately. His advice was exactly the same. But one of the uh, Danielle's uh, friends from the work that she had been working six months, so it was a, you know early stages of friendship. But her friends were fantastic, and they re also recommended uh, a couple of attorneys, and one of them in particular was Nick. Um, so I had me had meetings with it, with quite a few attorneys, I have to say. One of the things that first hit me when I first met Nick was his uh, his confidence of course, um, his knowledge um, and his enthusiasm and also the, his caring point of view. Um, he understood my predicament, knowing that I'm only here for a short period. I'm not going to be living out here. Uh, I have got to go back to the UK. I've got a family to look after. Mm -hmm. So to, he knew immediately that he picked up on my real big concern was, I'm going to be leaving Danielle behind. She needed that attention, she needed that care, and she needed somebody who would give her that support. And for a dad, for a father, it's just like, I'm in the UK, I can't, I can't give her it. And it's, it broke my heart. Um, so Nick came to the hospital and we talked at length uh, for a long time. Um, and I got to know a bit about him. He's a family man himself. And he understood where my, my thoughts were and he wanted to try and reassure me. And I think one of the things that really, you know, struck a chord with me more than anything was um, his desire to, you know, to make sure that Danielle was going to be uh, catered for, but not only catered for, but looked after, knowing I was going to be in the UK. And he wanted to uh, give me that assurance that, you know, I, he's going to look after my daughter like he, she was his own. And, and that's something that I needed to hear. And, and when I look back now from my first early th uh, chats to, to, what he is, to what has occurred in the last four or five years, it's just been remarkable. We don't think Nick and I was a, as an attorney. I don't mm -hmm. think of him as anything other than a friend, a family friend, a family member. Um, he, over the, the course of the time, um, the conduct from his team has been extraordinary. Um, every time there was a problem, Nick picked it up and uh, he made sure everything went, went through and, and supported her all the way through the whole thing. And, and as I said, it, it wasn't just a, you know, his team, it was Nick. We are grateful 
uh, and we are very much a strong bond with Nick now um, because of our friendship and big decision made, a very lucky one and I'm so happy and so glad that we actually made that decision with Nick because we, you know, without doubt it was the number one choice.